What's up, guys? It's DTMP Randomness. The 15 man April Royal Rumble match now has three matches announced for it The Bar versus the Hardy Boys in a tag team title match. Now, cards are subject to change, and I'm pretty sure this one's going to be subject to change. You know, I'm pretty sure that Braun Strowman and my pick for his partner, Bobby Lashley, are going to take on the Hardy Boys and maybe the Bar. Maybe we'll have like a triple threat match at this Royal Rumble. But right now, it's saying the Bar versus the Hardy Boys. If you go by that, you're to assume that the Bar actually beats uh, Braun Strowman at WrestleMania, which would be pretty freaking stupid. So let's hope they don't go that route. That would be just absolutely dumb. The next match is Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, The Miz, and Samoa Joe in an Intercontinental title match. Now, being you're having Balor, Rollins, and Miz at WrestleMania, you could possibly have Samoa Joe come out and cost them the match and have Miz leave with the title at WrestleMania. And then have one of these guys win the Intercontinental title at this greatest Royal Rumble match. Which would make more sense because then you have a potential to have, in my opinion, Finn Balor should leave with the belt at WrestleMania and still keep the belt at this Royal Rumble. But probably they're going to go with The Miz winning at, Royal Rumble, or at WrestleMania by uh, interference of Samoa Joe. Leading to this four-way match at the show. So what do you guys think about that? Who do you think is going to win at WrestleMania? And who do you think is going to win at the greatest Royal Rumble ever? And then we got what should be an awesome match, but I just don't really care. You got John Cena, which is gone all the time, and who really gives a crap, versus... The Game, which is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, right up until he put the suit on and become a douchebag. Uh, so, this match is no build-up, no nothing, who cares? But anyways, guys, that's your three matches announced for the 50-man April Royal Rumble match. What do you think about these three matches? Which one are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the 50-man uh Royal Rumble because they got to bring some past stars in to, to fill this 50-man Royal Rumble. We'll just have to see what happens. But what do you guys think about it? Comment below and let me know.